It is August 24th, AD 79. Pliny the Elder and Pliny the Younger are standing outside, gazing at the smoke rising out of Mount Vesuvius. Pliny, sir, looks at his uncle, who is deep in thought. It seems that Vesuvius has been angered this day. Is there any way to appease it, uncle? There may yet be a way to direct Vesuvius' anger upon a city different than Pompeii. Let us go. The two travel through the countryside until they reach a Pagani walking along. Halt, sir. Speak swiftly, young man, for the mountain smoke swells. I will be speaking, young man, and I assure you it will be swift. I see that you're a Pagani by trade, and I've come to inquire as to whether you have any seeds fresh from the harvest that I could have. You're lucky I'm leaving Pompeii this day, otherwise I would not be carrying these seeds this late in the year. These seeds will cost one denarius. I have no money. Then you shall have no seeds. <laughs> Pliny and his uncle continue up the path rising to Viserys' opening. Before they can get to the top, two soldiers stand in their way. Allowed to allow anyone into Vesuvius on this day. We have come too far. We must hasten to the top. Fire will engulf them, and this town may be saved. <laughs> Just as Plenty was about to toss the seeds in, the earth shook and he fell in. <laughs> what a moron! Wait till the What's going on? Yeah. Hello, I am Pluto, the god of death. As you can see, you cannot put your trust in foolish ideas like throwing seeds into an active volcano. What was that old man thinking? I'm burning alive! Oh, oh my legs! Let's <laughs> see your wonderful home by putting your trust into old geezers. 